going to show you guys how to take apart an M90 snout. Uh, we got a Gen 3 and a Gen 5. Uh, there's a couple different ways uh, that the uh, snouts come apart. Uh, first off is Gen 3s usually have some sort of uh, spring retainer clip. Uh, you can just work that out of the groove with a uh, flat bladed screwdriver. Uh, Gen 5 will have a compression type fitting. Uh, basically you can kind of work it out with a uh, flat bladed screwdriver as well just like that. I uh, guess we should start off with removing your supercharger pulley with whatever you have. There's a couple different things you can do. If you're going to rebuild the snout anyway with new bearings and new seals and you don't care about the pulley uh, you can use your arbor press pressing on the shaft where the shaft will come out the bottom unrestricted you know not hitting your plates or anything like that you can run it all the way down the pulley will stop on the bearing and the shaft will press right on through and then everything will just kind of come apart or you can pull it off with a puller whatever you choose to do uh, this one already already had taken off uh, so for starters um, I'm not going to use the specialty tools that I had made. I'm just going to use tools that you guys probably have around your house anyway, such as sockets and extensions and whatnot. Uh, you can remove the shaft in a couple different ways. You can just take a hammer, uh, tap it on it, and drive it out the bottom. It's not very hard to get it out. I prefer to use a arbor press to take it out that way. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that. Gotta get the table to the right height. Uh, and you want to set your plates to where it will come out the bottom, no problem. Keep your hand under the bottom so you can catch it. All right, shaft is out. On this, there's a couple things you want to keep an eye on. Is you have a spring and then you have your inner bearing. We'll get to taking that off here soon. Now all that's left inside the housing is the nose bearing and the seal. Uh, what I like to do is I'll take a the largest socket that I can get down in there because uh, you're going to have your inner bearing bore to fight against. Uh, I find that a 21 millimeter is about the biggest and a long extension and a trick my dad showed me instead of the traditional way of doing it like that is you put it inside so you got a nice flat surface to, to work against now you got an extended socket that you can drop all the way down in there and press it out that way so we'll need to drop the deck like so the trick is to just hit the edges of the snout so you got to be careful you don't want to be pressing against it if it gets too hard then you're probably binding it there isn't a lot of pressure on this because you're not fighting the uh, supercharger snout shaft or anything and it already started just by hand just show you how easy that is. Perfectly normal. Stuff pops like that all the time. And you kind of want to press it, undo it, run it back down again. And then you can kind of catch it out the bottom. Or if you don't care about it, just let it fall. Like so. You now have a gutted supercharger snout. All right, we'll set that aside. There's your bearing and your seal. Seals are not reusable. Once they're in, they're in. Once they're out, they're out. They're junk. All right, now for the fun part. Getting this inner bearing off. A lot of people can't get that off without it grenading on them or anything like that. Uh, what I see some people trying to do is they'll try to hold the bearing in their deck plates like so and driving on it puts a bind at it and I've seen these bearings just grenade and fragments go everywhere. What I've done is I've gotten a piece of heavy gauge uh, steel pipe. Um, it's longer than the shaft is so when the bearing or the whole shaft is down inside it's the same diameter as the bearing but the shaft has a lot of play in it. 
and you can just set this right on your deck like so and you want to use the uh, largest socket possible of the inner diameter of that plate and in this case it's a 7 16 uh, you can use an impact socket or any other socket for that matter and just set it right on there like so make sure it's squared up loosen it up a little get it perfectly square like so okay now this can be made so you're going to put a lot of pressure on the shaft to drive it out because you're also driving it out of the plate as well as the bearing because it's a press fit all the way through once it goes through the shaft will just fall through and these are free so stand up out of the way Put on your safety glasses in case shit hits the fan and press away. It will make a loud kapow and that's it breaking loose once you get pressed on it like that. Now you're done and then it's just easy pressing out all the way. That's it. So now you got your socket, you got your end plate, you got your bearing, and there's your snout shaft. So this is part one of disassembly. We'll do another video of part two on reassembly. Thanks for watching.